and that's us on air. Good evening and welcome to Fate of the Dice's GTQ series. Tonight we'll be continuing the third module of Descent into the Depths of the Earth. Tonight we have Rayla, Tristan, Magpie, Lucinda, Sigfund and Samir. Who wants to go over what happened last time? Yep, I will give it a go. So we started in the very big attic. We noticed there was a wall space that we couldn't get to. After some kerfufflery, we eventually... Uh, it wasn't a dimension door, was it? It was something that was like passed through walls. We found a gentleman tied up that we haven't really found why or who he is yet. Uh, then we found another statue in the little hidden room next to it as well, which ha uh, wasn't drow made and had some magic stuff around it, which we just dished out. Went downstairs a couple of floors, found a load of guards. We tried to trick them because the guy we found was a shapeshifter. He absolutely fluffed it because apparently it wasn't his language. And so he uh, did a pretty bad job, but they quickly turned on us. We managed to defeat them. In amongst it was the consort who'd escaped the previous session. And then uh, after clearing up the bodies, we heard chanting, so we continued further downstairs. And that's where we are now, just sort of on the stairwell, about to head down. Unless anyone has anything extra to add? Nope. Okay, so you've heard the chanting coming from sort of like southwards. What's the, uh, what's your plan? Magpie's lined up, ready to go sneaky sneaky, so... What do you say, everyone need to poke me head around the corner, I can... I need HP! <laughs> oh yeah. You do that first if you want. Uh, I've still got like... Five potions of healing, if you want any of those. Uh, If you're willing to part with them. Yeah, well we found that whole bunch of them and I ended up with a stack. So yeah, how many do you want? How many you got? Five. Um. I don't know how much I need to deck me up to optimal health. <laughs> well, have three, and then you've always got another one on you. And then, does somebody else want two? Bimia needs healing. Oh yeah, Sabit, do you want two potions of healing? Yeah, for Yeah? All yours. What's the roll for the... Uh, 2d4 plus 4. Uh, 2d4 two? plus 2 for the black two ones, 4d4 plus 4 for the green ones. Just uh, used my rod to get a spell yeah. port back as well. Absolutely. Oh wow. Uh, that's right. Good average roll, so you'd be getting seven back. Yeah, and you're getting yourself <laughs> full time. I'm just going to use all three. No worries. Okay, so it's going to be what, 10, 9, and 7 for a total of 26. I'll make that. I'm still under health. I'm still under half health. You can hang out at the back for a little bit. I won't take offense. through some incredible feats of luck. I didn't get hit once last session. Um, I, I just don't get hit. Unless it's a giant with a chair. Okay, still less squishy now. I've got a greater healing potion you could take. Rayla, if you want. Uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. I can heal uh, from the soul trap with it in the last battle, so I'll be alright. 
Uh, what's the roll for greater healing? 4d4 plus 4. That's correct. I'll just remove it for my inventory. Would that be 17? I'm not sure if I'm mapping right. I'm bad uh, at math. 16. 16. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're in this table, a temple to kill a lot of drow. If you happen to be one of them, you know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> That's outside the box thinking, that one. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So once you've got healed up, what's the plan? My poor Kimmy had around corner. Can yeah, do. unless Rayla wants to go back, Rayla will do it, but... Uh, it's up to Rayla. <gasps> haven't I already used my bat form? Well, we just long rested, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, on the yeah, roof. I don't believe you yeah. used the bat form the to... Yeah. to <laughs> yeah, before that. Okay. So, after that, I mean. I got all excited. <laughs> uh, well, long rest was taken last session, but not yeah. last thing last session. Not since the last but, battle. Uh, you would still have your bat form available, and uh, all Is the that areas. For me, lit. Yes, I, I was going to type it out for you. Yeah, take another six. Thank you. I'll go bat real. No worries. Flat. Squeak. Uh, okay, so looking sort of northward, you can see the passage continues and goes round. And then looking southward where the noise is coming from, you can see the following. There looks to be a congregation of priestesses. Uh, standing in front of an altar, uh, where you can see that uh, a, uh, a drow is laying upon it. Uh, this drow does not appear to be restrained in any way, uh, but is also not moving. You do recognise that uh, leading the other drow is Inadil Bainra. Going guns blazing. <laughs> when has that ever failed us before? <laughs> when you do your you do your um snipey snipe thing with your nut twenty, it really get us a good head start and then <laughs> I'll do my best. Um I won't be able to get too far down though without being seen, but I'm guessing I could hide here, and then, what's the distance there? I mean, I've got the sharpshooter, so it should... Oh, well, I've just had a thought. Do you want to see what's up here, just in case there's, like... Oh, somebody behind us. There. Your yeah. long range is 320 feet. If you've got sharpshooter, you shouldn't have any issues. Yeah. This map is not 320 feet <laughs> in any dimensions. No. Hmm. Yeah, but I really want to go and have a look up north, like, to... Um, just so we can... <laughs> okay. And here you find the entire two character. dragons around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So um, as you head round, uh, something smells, and uh, occasionally you can hear a sound that sounds faintly like gurgling. I'll take a look closer look at that, as I bet. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, looking round, um, you can see into what appears to be a sort of prison-like area, where you can see that there are some cell gates. And uh, standing across them, uh, you can see six creatures that look like enormous gas. And it is uh, from them the uh, the sound appears to be coming from. Are they gaseous cloud giant people? Are they in the cells or are they just hanging out in the cell areas? They are hanging out in the cell areas. They're not strictly in cells. There are no doors and they can easily leave from where they are. They're more of, I guess, guard chambers. Cool, yeah, so we don't want to. And they don't look like giants, really. They they look like large gas. That scares me, but I'm pushing, yeah, will they hear us if we start yeah. attacking us? Are they they do look to be some distance away. I'll come back to the others. Squeaking. Hmm. If there's some distance away, I'm, 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 I'm happy just shooting this lot. Could somebody put like a wall? Could somebody put like a firewall or something on top of him? Let him go across. Oh, you don't. Across here. I think only Sigfund is of a level to have uh, any decent barrier spells. Such I've got, as, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Or oh, um, listen to I should say. I've got firewall from uh, staff of fire. Just slow them down a bit if they do come round and start attacking it. But, down. put it in a place where they probably won't hear you cast it. Because it's a dead giveaway. If you do it right next to them, they're just going to throw themselves through the fire. Well, that's why I was saying. Like, I only lost yeah. someone. Yeah. Problem is, if we did do something like that, are we sure we've locked them in and that they can't get around? There's a lot of map we can't see. Well, they can go through it. They'll, they'll just take damage if they do. So, and it only lasts a minute. But that's plenty. I mean, I've got this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's a lot of map we haven't exposed to know whether there's another way around. You see, there's a doorway down here that might link to one of these over here. I think they're probably cells on the other side, aren't they? They certainly looked to be. Could you go slide down right there and just have a look? Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. Mm -hmm. Ding -ding. <laughs> okay, so you'll be able to, to fly down, see uh, a bit more of the, uh, the ritual room. Um... Yeah, as, as you fly down, um, yeah, because you're rather exposed, the drow will notice you, and you can see one priestess who seems to be eyeing you, um, but none of the drow ultimately attack you. And you can see into a web-filled area here. Just reading that spell, do we want to spend ten minutes to make this wall permanent? And just put it like here, sort of thing. Have everybody ready to go as soon as it pops. Like that could be your cue, don't we? Just fire, fire, fire down. Yeah, well, fire a shot. Well, there's, like it, a plan. Two seconds, I was just reading it. It says it becomes permanent if you manage to concentrate on it for 10 minutes without being interrupted. Then we don't have to worry about getting hit and dropping concentration on it. In yeah. Ten minutes, like an hour of us playing the game, though. That's or only in, for in um, combat. That's what I mean. Do you want to just like, or maybe put it, and we'll see it there. 
put it there, wait 10 minutes, and then join combat. We don't have to concentrate on it and use Moonbeam and stuff as well instead. Yeah, it, it is worth noting that the spell, I believe, requires verbal components. So casting it is going to be quite significant. And if you're casting like a wall of stone in a place where the drow can see the wall of stone, that might not necessarily give you 10 minutes for, you, you know, for it to become permanent. So where the wall is cast is kind of important. see it and then we, we can come along and just knock it down again later um, yeah you, you guys decide I'll just keep an arrow trained on the high feet test yeah, I mean, it sounds good to me. Yeah, so build a wall. Yeah, do the wall at the site, and then we just wait 10 minutes, it becomes permanent, you don't need to concentrate on it anymore. Just make sure you're on this side of the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a sneaky idea. Well, yeah. Obviously, we don't want these creatures below us to see us moving about. You want some whiskers? I could also turn into a bat. They've, they've not been bothered about Raylor's bat form. Yeah. I think they're probably distracted. Then go north, there. build the wall, and they won't see me go north. I've got a feeling if I walk out of this doorway, we're in combat straight away. Does that sound like a plan? Mm hmm? Alright. Gone bats. <laughs> Bat buddy. No longer bats. Let's get building a wall. No worries. So yep, you're able to you're able to wild shape into a bat and absolutely move over to there. Okay. Let's see how far away are you from them? Okay, so you're more than a hundred feet. Uh, and they're not in a position to see the wall. So you should be able to get that cast, and if you wish to wait the 10 minutes, you can. Um, during which time the drow are going to be continuing their uh, procedures. Um, so, sort of, while this is done, uh, you can see uh, that uh, Inidor Bainra is, uh, is sharpening a knife. Dom, it's up to you if you lose the arrow before or after she makes the first cut. I'm just going to talk to our little friend there and say, please just stay out of the way this time. Uh, so Stilophon is uh, in no position to argue that point. Okay. So uh, is anyone doing anything else while these procedures are underway? No, I'm just doing some light stretches, making sure I'm ready. A few squats, a few curls with my shield and axe. Or sword, I'm using sword now. No worries. And uh, is Rayla just staying roughly where she is as a bat? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, approximately the same time uh, the wall is made permanent, um, you can see uh, uh, Inadil Bainra raise the knife over the uh, over the drow uh, and say, uh, Queen of the demon web pits, mother of spiders, uh, we offer you one of your own back to you. Shooting, shoot, shooting, shoot, 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 18 damage. 18 damage all going through. And then we are going to be in initiative. Yeah, boy. And that was the only duplicate, wasn't it? That's fine. Oh, Tristan. Forgot about Tristan. Sorry, mate. 18. <laughs> yeah. I'm unusually it. high. And that, that's probably why I didn't register. <laughs> Saw an 18 and I thought, well, that can't be Tristan. Why, yeah. Just carried on, yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, so if we're starting straight away, uh, it'll be Rayla. Uh, I'll, I will de, de bat then take a shot at, um, Nadal with Fireball. No worries. Uh, is, is it just a thing you can end or is it, uh, like action or bonus action to debat yourself? Uh... I think you can just end it. I can always go for it. Good. Oh yeah, so it's like polymorph, so you can just end concentration, absolutely. Uh, an eight is gonna miss, I'm afraid. That'll be me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Samir. Uh, correct. I'm just going to run then. So I can't really get to anything. Dash. I wonder if that's 80, is that? But 
and then dash the red one then. No words? And then rage. I don't need to attack the current one, but rage god. Um, you just need to attack or be attacked uh, before the end of your next turn to keep up the rage. Noah's? Uh, then it's green scale. Uh, okay. Yep, so if it's green, um, she is going to use her action uh, to, um, to attempt to do a summoning. No. So let's see, on a 1 it fails, on a 2 it succeeds. Aha! Yay! Yeah. So you can, uh, you can clearly see uh, that that attempt fails. Uh, I and, thought uh, you were rolling a d20. <laughs> I'm really panicked there. Well, technically I'm supposed to roll a d100, and if it's like a 1 to 50 it fails. But I, I feel it makes more sense to just do the d2. Mm. Anyway. Uh, and then Furious, she's going to, uh, she's going to move up, uh, probably do something else uh, on her next turn. Uh, you can see, uh, you know, drawing, uh, drawing uh, a spear-like weapon as she, uh, she comes up. Oh, and she's also supposed to uh, take some psychic damage if she fails. There we go. Anyway, uh, and that's going to be that's going to be green. Who's next? Uh, sorry, I'm using my second monitor. Uh, Tristan. You just said BRB. Right <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> Should be Tristan. But we we'll tell you what. You it, is it's, is, it's is me person... next? Yeah. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, Although I was going to do a joke, I want Tristan to be back for the joke, so I'll just take a shot. Uh, I'll just, um... yeah, pop back around the corner, hide, and then pop back out and shoot green. Uh, go for it. Uh, 26 will hit. Yeah. For 30 damage this time. Or going for and then that uh, be me done. Is the Tristan back? Um, I hear no sign. Then it would be blue. Okay. Well, then we probably should wait for Tristan because in that mm. case the order matters. Mm. What are you doing, Tristan? Get back here. <laughs> I'm yeah. back. I'm back. Back. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Uh, right. Okay. So just five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, dash, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and bonus action shield of faith ready for next turn. And let's go. That'll be my go. Uh, then, then it'll be blue then. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so uh, if it's going to be blue. Um, okay, so lower blue uh, is going to, yeah, is going to cast the uh, the darkness spell. So that's got a range of sixty feet. So if put across that, I'm just going to draw it as a. Let's see if I yeah, oh, and I can draw it as a circle. Uh, but it's because uh, it's a fifteen foot radius, it should be able to fill up the whole corridor. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Um, yeah. Yes. Something like that. So that area is uh, is filled with blackness, uh, and that's what this drow at the bottom is concentrating on. And um, this drow here is going for uh, a different spell, and uh, it's going to cast that uh, probably quite familiar at this point. Uh, uh, insect plague. So that's the one that fills the 20 foot radius sphere that I'll try and get drawn. I think I'm 
drew the area wrong last time because it's a 20 foot radius. Uh, but that should be enough to get all three of you. So can all three of you make me con saves, please? Of course I can. Okay, so that's a 10 foot, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet. That's a sphere. So it'll be... A sphere, you get plus three. No, you really need it for 27. Gonna be like something like that, and then I've got to drag that into its correct position. Ah, uh, okay. Well, anyway, I'll uh, I'll get it drawn it in its two in its correct position. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, Tristan fails, and the other two succeed. Um, so I'll get the the damage roll for that. Tristan will still take half because it is a spell and his aura, but it's going to be 30 piercing damage, which you can all have to 15. In addition, because it's piercing damage, um, Samia should be able to half that down to seven. Uh, to her. And that's going to be the blues, and I'll try and get this, this massive sphere drawn. There we go. And then it will be six of its turn after blue. Dude, fair, eh? Is is this all right? Okay. So I can see the insect plague from through the darkness. Ah, uh, that's correct. Um. That will cost me a spell slot, but I'm just going to do it. Um, I'll use the spell magic on uh, Insect Plague. It's 120 feet, so I think I can reach it. No worries. Just, just as I've got it in its place. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh... <laughs> I didn't do what it's doing. Like, spoiled it on. No, 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 it's fine. Um, there we go. And do this. No, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a perfectly valid move. So, um, it is a 5th level spell, but so is your Dispel Magic. Yeah, uh, that's me done then. That's as far as I can go. Uh, sorry, no it's... Lucinda. Well, I'm really concentrated on this wall, so I think I've better... The wall's away. done. <laughs> the wall's done? The wall's done. Oh, excellent. You... Oh yeah, you've set me time off, haven't you? Yeah, because so, the wall's I, I done. I I missed that. I, I was expecting to be stuck up here for the entire fight. No, no the wait. idea was that the fight starts after you finish the wall, and the dry ritual took about as long as, well, uh, as it took to do the wall. Right, and that's it. Okay, so I'd better start coming down and join in. Me. No worries. Red. Uh, okay, then it's red. So we got one red already in position, uh, and the other red will come up, uh, and they're going to use free action to draw to draw scourges, uh, and each uh, one is going to make uh, their attacks on Samir. So for the uh, for the first red, that's going to be a dirty twenty. And a twelve. And for the second, it's going to be an eight and a sixteen. So I think that's just one hit from the pair of them. No worries. So that's going to be five piercing damage that you can halve to two, and ten poison damage, which will all go through. It. Well, unless you've got anything else. Oh, I've got that cloak, but it's not attuned to me. Ah, okay. Yeah, without attunement, uh, the resistance doesn't apply. No, we didn't have a short rest. <laughs> no. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the reds. Then back to the top. For Rayla. Unless there's anything you want to do on zero. Uh, no, it's still a fun is fine. Okay. 
Oh yeah, got thread. <laughs> Didn't take my swings. <laughs> Noise. That's gonna be a hit. Okay, so it's six piercing damage all going through. Uh, a 13 is going to miss, I'm afraid. <laughs> Noise. Uh, okay, who's next? It's Samir next. That's uh, right. Uh, 25 is going to hit. Uh, okay, so that's going to be 9 slashing damage. Uh, and then I believe there's something else that happens when you hit a target whilst raging. Uh, not me use that one in case she does get incapacitated. Uh... No worries. And then you got your second attack. Uh, it's going to be uh, a 26 to hit. That's going to hit. Cool, for another 8 piercing damage, all of which will go through. And I should probably show you what's uh, at the end of the corridor now that Raylo and Smear are there. Uh, you can see it leads into a circular, wide-filled chamber. But uh, for the moment, uh, you've got these to contend with. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Well, I'll give a shiver for those like webs. Um, no. Green then. Uh, okay. Um, back to the top with green. So having seen that uh, the others are, uh, are engaged, uh, Inadild is going to uh, come up towards Tristan and uh, was a. Uh, a holy man are you? Bow before the full wrath of love, queen of spiders. And we'll proceed to uh, to make three attacks uh, with, uh, with her weapon. The first attack is going to be a 27, but the other oh. two are going to be a 23 and a 17. Meets it, beats it for the first one. No worries. Uh, okay. So uh, that is going to be eight piercing damage, cool. Um, cool. plus twenty nine necrotic damage. Uh, additionally, your hit point maximum is reduced by an amount equal to the necrotic damage taken. So technically, you're nearly at full health, but uh, yeah. full health isn't uh, as much as it used to be. And uh, can you make a, a con save, please? For I believe it's the shield of faith. It shouldn't yeah. affect the second and definitely oh. won't the third attack. Oh, good job. That was plus seven from a Conte. Um, well, let's think. So the DC for this, because you took tw 32 total damage. The DC, uh, sorry, 30, 37 total damage. The DC for this is actually 18. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's minimum fate. 10, but it's like half the damage taken. So, uh, so, my max HP is now, so you said 29 necrotic, mm -hmm. 71. Ouch. Yep. Yep. 
Let me just put that as an override. And eight on top of that. Yeah. That's what's technically eight. I'm not looking bloody because I'm. That's I correct. Back at some point, I'm hoping. Uh, there is a way, yes. Uh, greater restoration would do it immediately, but usually for things like this, a long rest is enough. All right, then. Cool. Is it my go yet? Oh, if it's green's, green's, green's yes, finished to turn, yeah. yeah. Then yes, it is your go. Cool. Rather than taking that off and putting it straight back on, I will use my last first level spell slot and do shield of faith again. And then just go over here and attack green with advantage then. Let's see how you like it. So the first attack is either a 27 hit. Uh, 27 will hit. Cool. So I've got that. For some reason, it doesn't do the plus eight either. Okay, so that's going to be 31 uh, radiant and necrotic damage, all of which will go through. Let me just have a quick look at my spell slots. Oh, I've got enough. I'll do a second level smite for three more d8. Noah's? Yes, and she is speed. only humanoid. And then. Second attack. Need a twenty-two, which is looking lucky. A twenty-two Burn will up. be a hit. Burn. Which is not. It's a new dice set, so I have no idea if that symbol was a one or a twenty. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's put the bill in roll twenty. Yes, I am under no illusion. Uh, I don't know why I just rolled to attack again rather than the damage. No worries. So 18 plus the 1d8. Oh, it looks like it did roll the 1d8 that time. Oh. Is that not the 1d8 for the sword plus 2d6 for the necrotic? Oh, it's it's rolled what a 1d8. You see, I'm not actually sure what any of these values rolled actually correspond to with that. So it should be... Oh, I see. Oh, we go. And no, it says, right, yeah, nine piercing, yeah. eight written ra Yeah, and that's showing one radiant. Oh, so ignore. So, unless you've got um, one radiant damage from another D8 source, that oh. should be. I misread that. Cool. All right. Uh... He's still alive, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I noticed that it rolled the radiant damage the previous time as well. It just displayed cool. it separately. Cool. All right, then take off. I'll add the six, six back on. Yeah. Uh, oh, at least which... you got your macro sorted. That's the important thing. Yeah. In which case, I will do last second level spell slot. I don't know what's me while I'm burning through them all. To do three more d8, and let's just get this done. Nine. Inid Inidil lives. Cool. All right, that will be my turn then. Okay, uh, then it's me. Um, I will do this just for fun. Uh, so dash as a cunning action so I can get through the darkness. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to shout at Enadil and go, I was due to sacrifice a married woman last weekend, but I decided to give it a miss. <laughs> That's going to be a 27 to save. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not surprised. Um, and then with the rest of my movement, I'll go back behind the darkness. So that was what? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Oh, 600. Uh, that'll be me done. So then it is Blue's go. No worries. Uh, okay. And then it's the Blue's. Now, due to Inadil's position, probably not going to be uh, insect plaguing again. Uh, however, um, they've uh, they've still got some options available to them. Um, 
that uh, from their positions, that's not a concentration spell, is it? Nope. Uh, so each of them will be able to cast a Ray of Sickness spell. Uh, one is going to do it on Samir, and the other is going to do it on Tristan. So each of those requires uh, a ranged attack to be made. So the one, the one on Tristan's a crit, and the one on uh, Samir is... I'm not optimistic about that one, it's a 12. No, cool, that's all right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so I'm just gonna get that damage rolled through. Yeah, so that's gonna be uh, 17 poison damage, and can you make a con save against poison, please? Uh, and the 17 you can have to 8 because of your aura. Yay. So let's do 8 damage. Con save against being poisoned. Yep. And then con save to keep up shield faith. That's correct. Oh. Drop shield faith again. Awesome. No worries. But yes, you are uh, you are at least not poisoned. Mm. Okay. Okay. And then uh, is is there anything else you'd like to? Uh, is there, oh, hang on, no, so it's loose then, isn't it? Nope. Uh, is there anything else they'd like to do now they're chilling? You'd like to do, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the blues. Who's next? Sigfund. I'm just going to sit in the darkness. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm just for fun, I'm going to tr- attempt Dissonant Whispers on Inadil. No, is, is that a Wisdom saving for? It is, yeah. That's another 27 to save. So it's only half damage and nothing happens. That's all right. So it'll be seven damage total. Seven psychic damage all going through. That's me. Then it's Lucinda. Uh, I'm going to try... I'm going to try Eldrith Blast on green. Okay. So, uh, yeah, from there, you'll be able to hear Green. You can't really see her, but she can't really see you. These cannot gain advantage or disadvantage. So, yeah, fire away. Miss. Uh, Oh, sorry, the 16 meets it, beats it, and the 21 is, of course, a hit. Oh, excellent. For a one. Oh, I think really that And a three. So for four total. Wow. Noise? Is there anything else you'd like to do? Yeah, I'm going to take two steps to the right. Hopefully, she mm. didn't hear that, because if you saw where they came from, she'll. Try and throw something back. No worries. Then it'll be Red's turn. Okay. Uh, that'd be the Reds. So, I mean, this Red might as well step round to here, but uh, otherwise they've got their targets. So, uh, okay, so the two attacks on Samir are going to be a Dirty 20 and a 17. A Dirty 20 gets. And a 17 misses. Yep. And the one on Rayla is going to be, no, sorry, the two on Rayla are going to be, um, sorry, the, the Dirty 20 hits and the 17 misses, so I will get some damage rolled for that, and then we'll do the, the Rayla ones. So that's going to be four piercing damage that you can halve to two, and ten poison damage for a total of twelve. Uh, as for Rayla, it's going to be a 15, which I, I feel ought to miss, and uh, a crit. Well, the crit definitely hits. <laughs> uh, that's right. Um, so that's going to be 13 piercing damage. Um, plus, yeah, it is included as part of the weapon's description as a non additional thing. So that's also considered critted. Plus 32 poison damage uh, for a total of 45. And that's Red's turn. Yeah. Uh, back to the top for Rayla. I'm 
not sure if I did my damage right. <laughs> Uh, it That's should it. be 45 total, 13 piercing, 32 poison. That looks more like it, I think. <laughs> Was it my turn? I believe so. Yeah, yes it is. Taking my swings at red. <laughs> uh, okay, that's uh, going to be a hit. Uh, okay, seven, seven piercing damage all going through. Got two more of those. Uh, it's going to be a hit. Uh, nine piercing damage all going through. And a 15, a 15's just going to miss. Yes, just going to miss. Is there anything I should like to do? I keep on forgetting about this. I would like to range. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So do you want to have done this at the start of your turn so I can add four damage to the attacks? If that's okay with you. Uh, that's all right. I'll get that put through. So I'll put some raging symbols on or something. There we go. That looks like an appropriate one. Okay, and yeah, so unless you'd like to do anything else, who's next? Simi. That's the one uh, you were attacking before. Your ancestors surround her. Okay. Um, three more. It won't get. I won't get. Oh, For switching targets, not at all. No, okay. Cool. A weird advantage because you are flanking with Tristan. Uh, okay, so the 26 will hit. Oh, we well, need to press it again because you've got advantage. Uh, okay, uh, right, so. Yeah, so that goes through. In a deal, narrowly survives. Uh, and the second attack is going to end up being a 12, which is going to miss some of red. Advantage. Yeah, that's oh, that's the, the there's four rolls in there. That is advantage. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, can I bonus action throw my shoe at him? <laughs> I'm afraid that would definitely be considered an improvised weapon attack. God damn it. I mean, have we ever changed our uh, clothing and footwear? Would that not be an IED? Yeah, of course, I've been washing every time we stopped, though. Especially around the Krakatoa. Did you not wash with the Krakatoa? With it, no. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Specifically mentioned cleaning all the blood and icker and stuff out of my clothes. Samir's very dirty. <laughs> Just imagine our characters in battle fighting being like, Have you cleaned your shoes? <laughs> no. Samir, no, you blood on their feet. <laughs> um, anyway, going back to the fight, that's sadly all that she can do. And that was? Awesome. Then it will be Green's go. Then it will be Green's go. Uh, in that case, so there will still be a couple of attacks on Tristan, but she might as well spare the third for uh, Samia uh, for uh, for that attack. Um, so let's get that rolled. Okay, so the first attack on Tristan is going to be a 19, which misses. Uh, 
The sole attack on Samir is going to be a 27, which ought to hit. And the third attack on Tristan is going to be a crit. Although I know he's got his armour. Yeah. And I'm going to do, because I've just reread this, Spirit Shield on that one as well. So he needs to reduce both of these six. No worries. Uh, okay, so as for uh, as for the actual damage involved, for Samia it's going to be 11 piercing, which she can halve to 5, plus that 21 necrotic damage, uh, which cannot be so easily halved, and will reduce your maximum hit points by 21. Uh, and then we can go for the uh, the crit on Tristan. So that's gonna that's gonna also be eleven piercing damage. It'd be very funny if the necrotic was also the same. Ah, it's not. It's gonna be just be nineteen necrotic damage that no. will also reduce the. Which is eleven. What does that mean? So Who's that for? Um, well, 11 would completely negate the piercing damage. Uh, I don't believe with Spirit Shield it, it says what, uh, you know, what you're supposed to do if it's multiple damage types. Should we do it for piercing then, then you don't get damage from Yeah, I, I'll, we'll, we'll say that one just because it's the initial damage, just because it's the first one listed. So if we have to do a preference, we'll do the one that's first listed. So it's going to be zero piercing, but the 19 necrotic damage will still be appearing. So you don't actually seem to be losing any additional hit points. Oh, good. But, uh, well, that's because the ceiling's being lowered. So, yeah, oh, 19... Oh, so I still, I still did lose 19 up for max. Yeah, 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 but it's 19 to current and max. So you don't seem to be wounded, but you definitely are. Well, yeah, actually, that cool. stops me being bloodied, weirdly. Because <laughs> I've lost 49 hit points so far. Uh -huh. What happens if you take so much away? I'm at zero. You die. die. Oh, good. Let's finish this guy off, can we? Yeah. Uh, no, that's going to be Bill's turn. Yeah, so it's just an issue go. You finish him off. Oh, well. I've had it. All right, so I've got advantage. Let's. Uh, the little part of me wants to heal, but actually I can't heal that much. Crit fish. That's a crit. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> that's the first time I've ever seen crit Still fishing work. <laughs> but that's only done normal damage, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think it matters, does it? She it has three health left. Yeah. It matters to if me. If you want to roll the, um, if you want to roll the, what is it? What the one d six plus two d six plus one d eight? You can do. I don't know why that's came through. Really weird. That automatically. Did, oh. It's automatically added it up. The 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 <laughs> point is, if you want to do three d six plus one d eight extra because it's a crit, you can. Uh, but she is definitely dead. Cool. Or, or, or unconscious, depending on whether you're one of non-lethal. Nah. No worries. Oh, I get a put there. And then, is there anything else you'd like to do? So is that just my first attack? That's just your first attack. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So second attack with advantage. No worries. 18, or oh, quick fish. I didn't like the second time. No worries. 26 is still a hit. There you go. That's 22 damage. All going for. And that will be my. Oh, because I can't bonus action anything. And I'm... I have literally I think, one spell slot left. Yep, one third level spell slot left, so nothing I want to do with that. No worries. Okay, then it's going to be me. So, this area's darkness, is that still up? That was somebody else. Yep, that was nothing to do with Inadil. That's fine. I can hide in an area of darkness and then pop out, can't I? 
Um, uh, yes, technically you can. Yeah, so, yeah. Go there, hide, pop out. And... Well, I think you've got those two reds covered, so I'll start taking pot shots at uh, the northernmost blue to start off with. No worries. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is going to be a hit. A thirty-eight damage. Thirty-eight damage. All going for blue is bloodied, and then back into the darkness. And that'll be me done. So then it's blue's go. Okay. Okay. So then it's blue's go. Well, seeing that there's still been a bunch of fire coming out of there. Uh, blue is going to end concentration. Uh, now, there's no way for me to remove that sphere without removing all of you, as these uh, these spheres are very difficult to uh, to select. Um, but nevertheless, the darkness is down, as they're uh, they're both free to uh, to make their moves. Um, so. Uh, so this blue here uh, is going to move up a bit and cast, um, might as well, since they've still got that slot, uh, might as well have a go casting Insect Plague up here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. th mm. So that should be enough to get the three of you. Darkness is down, they can see what they're doing. Uh, so can all three of you make me a constitution save, please? Yes. I get bit by insects. Uh, me too. Oh, <laughs> Noise. And the other blue is going to move up to here and cast Ray of Sickness on Magpie. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so that's going to be... Okay, so that's going to be the best is a nine from all of you. So that's fine. So that's going to be 23 piercing damage to all of you. And then the the blue that's doing the ray of sickness uh, is going to get a twenty one to hit on magpie. Yeah, it does hit. No worries. If this is an attack like this, can I uncanny dodge it? It's rolling to hit. Um. Let me have a look at me. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I believe you can. It is considered an attack. It's a, like a ranged spell attack, but it's still yeah, an so, attack. Yeah. That's, that's fine. fine. So that's going to be. Uh... Oh, sorry. Oh. No, no, go on. I was just going to say, can I hellish rebuke the person who cast insect plague as well? Does it work like that? Uh, depends. What what what's the condition of the spell? It's just if a it's reaction. When you take damage, damage then that would yeah. be should be fine. If it's if you take damage from an attack, um, insect plague is not an attack. No, it just says a response to being damaged by a creature within sixty feet. Oh, okay. I think it would be a fair assessment to make that she has damaged you. Yeah. Um, so, yes, you can do that, which I'll get sorted. Uh, as for Magpie, uh, the, the damage on a hit was 29 poison damage. And can you make me a con save against the poisoned condition, please? Uh, and yeah, I'll get I'll this that. deck save rolled. So that's 29, I can half to 14, can't I? Um, yeah, if it says an attack, then a uh, ray of sickness is an attack. Yeah, and another con save. This is... Oh, that's better. 60, 80. No worries. Uh, and the deck save was a 21. So you're not poisoned. You're just taking the 14 poison damage. And as for the Hellish Rebuke, uh, that was a 21 to save. It's only half damage. That's fine. Yeah, so that'll be 7 or 8, depending if you're... Oh, they, they always say to round down for that. Uh, so it's going to be 7, which does mean a con save has to be put up to keep up the newly done Insect Plague. That is going to be... Oh, that's going to be another 21, in fact. <laughs> so the insect plague is still up. Uh, it's probably on the warlock list, but I think you know from previous experience that uh, best avoided to avoid ending your turn there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and uh, that's gonna be the blues. Then it's Sigfund's go. So, yeah, I will get out of this insect mm -hmm. plague. The area's difficult to rain, so, but, you, you know, you, you'll still be able to get out of it easily enough. I'll just move to, like, here, then. That's so, fine. Half my movement. Um, and I'll try and finish off this blue here, then. No worries. Three hours fast. 
Uh, I'll use borrow experience from the soul cage for the first one, just to get advantage on the first hit. Absolutely. Uh, 21 is going to be a hit. Uh, 15 force damage. Yeah. Oops, uh, I'll only bother with some saves, Rode, if she lives after your bombardment. Sure. Uh, so 21 is going to be a hit. Uh, 9 damage on that, because I rolled damage first, boy. Noah's. We'll yeah. barely survive that. And then you've got your third one. Last one then. 17. 17 still a hit. Eight force damage. No worries. Uh, so yeah, that will be the insect plague down. I just can't easily get rid of it without deleting some tokens. No worries, that's me done. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, it's uh, Lucinda's game. Well, my plans have all changed a bit now because one of my enemies has disappeared. And I'm not going to argue about that. So I'm going to try Field Drift Blasts on Blue. Go for it. What a them. Ah, uh, it's going to be a miss, I'm afraid, but you got two more of those. Oh my god, I've just fired it at myself. Uh, you really might have two more of those then. I'm afraid, sir, those are going to miss, I'm afraid. Yeah. No worries. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No. Any any problems with the crit fail? Oh, I don't do problems like that. No, that's fine. I'm glad yeah. to hear it. Ah, uh, that's alright. Uh, oh, then it's red. Uh, okay. Uh, they're still, yeah, so they're in a more difficult position. So your attack was made against that red, so this red is technically free to attack whoever uh, she wishes. Um, ooh. So let's see, this red is going to try and help her, uh, help the other priestess out by dividing the attacks, and top red's going to continue her you know, attacks against Rayla. So the uh, ones from top red are going to be a uh, 17 and a dirty 20 on Rayla. Is that going to be one hit or two? Uh, two. No words? And as for the lower one, it, it's going to be uh, a 13 on Tristan and a 9 on Samir. Okay. Um, so as for, uh, as for top red, that's going to be uh, 8 piercing plus 14 poison for 22. Okay. Total damage from that first attack. Uh, and then the second attack is going to be 5 piercing plus 18 poison for a total of 23. Remember, you're going to have your piercing if you're aging. This is... Oh, yes, that's true. Uh, that would avoid... Let's see, there was 8 piercing from the first and 5 from the second. That would get you out of 4 and 2, 6 piercing damage. I just took myself down to zero. How much should I give myself back? Uh, six. And that's the reds. Back to the top for Raylan. Fuck it, one. Smacker. Or stabber, or never mind. <laughs> That's right, you've got two tickle more there. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah! Tickle it harder. <laughs> tickle it harder. <laughs> there we go. That third one's the, the charm. <laughs> Oop, don't know what I did there. There we go. Uh, okay, eight piercing damage all going through. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, that's me. <laughs> no worries. Who's next? Samir. Oh, 
which would be another two because of rage. Anyway, sorry, uh, as you were submit. Noise, you'll have advantage due to flanking. Okay, so that turns a miss into a hit. Good old advantage. Okay, for 10 slashing damage. Uh, she's barely up, but you got your second attack. That's going to be a hit, check for the crit. Uh, still a hit. And with that 11 damage, that will be final. How do you want to do it? I have no idea. It's been unpleasant. We killed something. Let's chop its head off. No worries. Yep. You, uh, yep, yeah, you, you, you hear the sound of her head, uh, hitting the ground. And, yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, uh, move down this one and go, you're next. No worries. Who uh, is next, though? Green's dead, so it'll be Tristan. Cool, I'll do the same. Move down and smack with advantage. Good, <laughs> good, but that's crit hit. Yeah, it worked once, so it might work again. 23 is a hit. Cool. Be coming through any second. Really? No, it's 14 uh, assorted damage all going through. Next attack. One. Good hit. Uh, okay, 24 to hit. That'll be a hit. There we go. Okay, uh, 23 uh, assorted damage all going through. That'll be my goal, because I'd always I'd love to kill them. I don't want to waste my last little bit of spellage. Yeah, it'll be my go. Do I? Does anything happen to me for starting in the insect plague? What insect plague? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. He's dead, isn't he? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wake up. Sorry. Right, so I'm going to go five, ten, five. Hide behind the desk, and then mm -hmm. shoot the remaining blue. <laughs> Uh, okay. off a crit. 17's the hit. For 31 damage. 31 damage, all going through. And then it's going to be her turn. Okay. So... Yeah, just having a quick look. So... Yeah, so it was that other one who was um, doing those plagues before. Um, but I think liven things up a bit. So you can see her trying to do some of the uh, the same ritual uh, that uh, Inadil was uh, trying to do. This uh, this one, you know, well, she's less accomplished. This ritual as a as a lower chance of success. In fact, for her, it's going to be a thirty percent chance of success. So um, we'll do that if this is going to be a 71 or higher, then that will be a success here. As uh, she tries to produce uh, a servant of her own. And I'm afraid that's going to be uh, another failure. Worth a shot, but uh, ultimately unable to uh, to bring forth the demon. And that's uh, if that's all she can do. And that's her action. <laughs> Um, I'll try and finish off this raid with some Eldritch Blasts. Again, I'll borrow experience to get advantage on the first hit. No ones. To be a 20 C to hit. 22 is going to be a hit. Okay, 13 force damage all going through. And uh, 25 will be a hit. Be 13 again. 13 force damage all going through. How would you like to do it? Just black and blue flames as usual. 
No worries. And then you got your third? Yeah, I'll just give it to the, the last below here. 16. Meets it, beats it. That'll be 12 force damage. Well, going through it. Is there anything I should like to do? No, I'll just stay where I'm and I'll leave her where she is so people can get to her. And no worries. Who's next? Lucinda. I might have missed the memo here. What's this thing on the altar? A sacrifice. So we're not supposed to be killing it? Not really. It's probably not. Right, it right. Not like... kind of right. I think I missed the memo. <laughs> uh, in that case, three Eldritch Blasts on blue. Go for it. Uh, 16 meets it beats it. Uh, 21 is a hit. And a miss. That's correct. You still you've got your uh, you still got two that hit. Yeah, I've got a 16 for two and a 21 for three. Wow. No worries. Five force damage all going through. Is there anything I should like to do? I'd like to kill it, but I can't. No <laughs> worries. Who's next? Rayla, back to the top for Rayla. I'm gonna shoot blue with my crossbow. No worries. Yeah. So unless you've got the crossbow master feet, you can only make one attack with it, but 16 will still be a hit. So crossbow expert it's called. Uh, okay, for four piercing damage. And you've still got two attacks with other weapons if you'd like to use them. Um, I'm good. Noise? I was about to say you could do a firebolt, but uh, you can't if you're raging. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's alright. Who's next? Samir. Uh, if you're over to you. I go for it. Uh, 21's going to be a hit. Okay, 12 slashing damage, just about alive. But you've got your second attack. Just a miss, I'm afraid. Ah, no. <laughs> Rude. Who's next? Justin. Raw, right. Let's see if we've got enough movement to get the flanking again. 5, 15, 20, 30, I think. Let me just double check my measuring. Yep, just enough. Uh, so let's do Swacky Swack. No. Check for a hit. 13, no. Second attack. Could be, but let's check for it. Like, a 19 is going to hit. And uh, whatever amount of damage you do, it's going to be enough. She's on two health. Oh, but we might as well see the roll. Mm -hmm. I did include your rage damage. I did include it. Oh. Excessive, but hey ho. <laughs> Just get whacking early, wouldn't you, still? But the 19 hit Tristan. Oh, sorry, was that not the damage? I'm such a no. tip. What a waste. <laughs> it is like I hit the wrong button death. and got a nut 20 for nothing. <sighs> there we so go. We'll leave that soon, will it? Okay, how do you want to do it? Uh, just like a coward, run around behind them and stick a sword through their kidneys. Just that no. thing first. How is your character standing over the dead body? Fine. Oh, hello. Doesn't really care. <laughs> wash it. I'll wash my boots next time we get to a stream and look at you with disgust because apparently I'm the only one who washes my character. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I wash. She might have a wash after this. We, we just don't quite know yet. She might. 
Uh, Should I use magic? <laughs> the, 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 the dictation. Yeah. Press the dictation. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, loosen up. up. Please, can you take a step down so I don't delete your token? Down as in there. Towards the rest of us. I'll delete yeah, your token. Yeah. There we go. I thought you meant I'd have gone too far then. No. No, it's um, just so I can get rid of some of the circles. Yeah, no, that's fine. I still think we need to tie that person up on the altar. Why? I think they are unmoving. Nice. Are they already tied up? Does it look? No. They're not tied up. They're explicitly not tied up, but they uh, are I'm not moving. More than tie them up. <laughs> tie them up. Carry them well. off somewhere. And just... I still have an unanswered question. Go on. Oh, go on. <laughs> Why did they want me back? For the sacrifice, I assume. Because they wanted you to come down here in a hurry, and we didn't come down, so maybe they kind of re tried to replace you here. <laughs> is this person who's sacrificed, is that still alive? Or... Uh, you can go up and have a look. I'll have a check to see if they're still alive. Okay. Yeah. You can... So they are completely unmoving as you approach, uh, but as you look at them, they occasionally blink. I jump back in fear. It's alive. <laughs> I, I think tie them up, take them off the altar, and deal Can't with them in a little bit. Up. Yes, tie because whatever's making them unmoving is going to wear off eventually, and they are still but part of the family. They were about to be sacrificed to whatever shit that that thing was doing. Yes, I know, but they're I... still part of the drow family. Let's find out if they're a good guy or just. Could be a, Maybe they're uh, so yeah, fanatical they volunteered for it. Yeah, I was going to say that. It could be a well and sacrifice. People who were evil thought that this person was worth sacrificing. They could be even oh. more evil. Have you heard of suicide bombers? They're not good people. They're still sacrificing <laughs> themselves. Let's tie them up, and if okay. it turns out they're good, we'll let them go. If it turns out the bad, we'll kill them. Why well, should they release the lightning bolt after all of them? Well, I don't think we got any rope to tie them up with. Um, yeah, I've got like. We've all 50. got rope, every. <laughs> Just check it. Every adventure's got 50 foot of rope. <laughs> right, I'm going to tie okay, them we up. We used it, but we've all got 50 foot of rope. <laughs> I'm going to tie them up and put them in the chair up here. So at least they're comfortable, and if it turns out they're good, I haven't abused them. But we're just making sure that when they can talk and move again properly, we'll get some questions answered. No worries. They're not too difficult to tie up and move. Their limbs are strangely stiff. Uh, and you can move them. Carry them across and be like, right, give us a hollow when you can move properly and we'll get sorted. Before then, though. Can I try and see, like, what's keeping the, them, like, a mobile? Absolutely. Like, why you they can't can make move. a medicine check. <laughs> no worries. So, uh, with an 18, uh, it looks to be, uh, they look to be kept paralysed by some kind of intoxicant. Uh, you uh, would remember um, that such things are developed amongst the drow. Uh, it would be a poison that leaves them paralysed while they are poisoned. And so anything that removes, well, anything that removes paralysis uh, would get them out of it, but also anything that removes poison would remove the paralysis. Can I look at the green body to see if he's got anything of it left? Like a potion or anything? Well, I can get rid of the poison. Oh, uh, so... I was like, hang on, uh, so you can absolutely get rid of the poison. You, you know, you've got the ability to do that. So Samir's looking at green. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, so you can have a you can have a search of the body. I should uh, really ask what Magpie, Lucinda, and Samir, uh, sorry, and Sigfund are doing, because uh, I know Sigfund's by a table with a lot of vials, and uh, the rest of you are by tables with various implements. I mean, to be fair, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Okay, uh, Sigfund and Magpie, what are you doing? 
I disappeared for five minutes. I'm back, sorry. Yeah. I'm much. back. I'm just back. You want to, there's a lot of vials on this table, Magpie. Do you want to swap tables and you could maybe do an arcana check on these vials? You're probably better at it than me. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I will have a look. I'll just take a look at the smaller one. So, arcana check. Do I need more than a 19? Um, For like a basic identification, no. But it depends on which additional insight you'd be interested in. Well, we'll roll it. 28. That's fine. Um, and so, so you're having a look at those, and Sigfund's having a look at those, and Lucinda's having a look at the table of influence, Samir's looking at the body. Oh. Just, did you shock yeah. yourself? Me? I heard oh, an yeah. owl. Yeah, no, it was me. I spilled beer on myself. Ah, uh, noise. Uh, so Tristan's about to cure the poison, and Rayla's assisting with that. Um, so uh, I'll be able to get all of uh, all of those resolved. So um, we'll do Magpie first because he's the more interesting one. Uh, so there you're able to uh, see that there's you know, a, a variety of uh, you know jars that look to have some liquids. With the 28, um, you'll be able to identify them all. Um, you so you can see that two of them, two of the jars do each have a have a dose of, well, uh, let's just say a, a paralyzing poison. Uh, and uh, it, it looks to be what's uh, what's happened there. Um, I'm just having a quick check. What's in the uh, what's in the other one? What's in the other ones? Okay, yeah. And then um, the uh, the others um, the other jars you can see. You can see that two uh, have, you know, uh, vials of basic poison, and uh, one uh, is a, you know, is a vial of unholy water. Um, as for uh, as for uh, Sigfund, um, looking uh, looking at that table. Um, so that that one um, seems to uh, seems to contain. It doesn't really contain any of the uh, the vials there, um, but it seems to uh, to contain some uh, some idols uh, dedicated to Lolf. Um, none of them seem to be magical, so uh, no check needed for that. Um, but they uh, they do appear to be you know somewhat valuable. Sorry, I was cleaning up my mess before. Did you say what was in the vials? Oh, I did. So two of this paralyzing poison, two of basic poison, and one of unholy water. Uh, me. I'll leave them. No! No, I, don't take them I still. Take them. Okay. okay, have them. <laughs> you want them? Have them. You I can't be bothered adding poison. all that to my inventory. I'm not going to use them. <laughs> so what? Paralyzing? No. <laughs> paralyzing yeah, okay. poison, unholy water, and... I mean, I've already got one one bottle of unholy water, mm. and uh, and basic poison. I'll have them. No worries. Uh, as for Samia, uh, looking over Inadil's uh, body, um, you know, as well as like her vestments and her holy symbol, um, she uh, she is carrying uh, a weapon known as a death lance. It's a kind of spear, Can I... uh, and it seems to be uh, it seems to be magical. I pick it up. Did anybody else have got any? No. Mm. Noah's. Um. So uh, Lucinda, Lucinda's um, at a, a table where uh, she can see uh, you know, a variety of uh, implements. Uh, but some look to be, uh, you know, for, for killing. There's definitely a spot where a knife uh, would have be previously been placed. Uh, that would be found on the body of uh, Inadil. Uh, but you can also see some implements that would be used for uh, a more torturous death. How goody. <laughs> yep, fun table. Hmm. Uh, okay. 
And with the uh, the How looting. Can I add these to my inventory, please? Uh, you can if you wish. Uh, and Ooh. with um, that settled there, uh, you can now, uh, Tristan can now, you know, use either lesser restoration or protection from poison or five points of lay on hands to yeah, remove the lay poison. On. Boop my own nose for 20 points and then boop their nose for five points of cure poison. Put your hands off. Oh yeah, actually, I'm going to use my um, my potion of greater healing now. Oh, actually, who speaks undercommon or dwarf, uh, elvish, or whatever this, they speak? Elf. <laughs> I'm an elf. Come here. You can translate for us. <laughs> no worries. Uh, if anyone wants to apply, uh, you know, potions, just make sure they're rolled in the chat. You don't have to announce them to me. Um. Yeah. So as you uh, put some. Put some healing in, um, put some lay on hands and cure the poison. Uh, you can see life return to uh, to this drow's limbs, and um, she'll. Uh, I'm not going to list the torture implements. This is this is I on a stream. A um, <laughs> uh, anyway, and uh, she will. Uh, she will say. Um, Thank you for uh, rescuing me from the altar. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Linen. Linen? Is she Nilonim. speaking in Elvish? Uh, Nilanim Mizrim. We've met the Mizrims. Oh, were they the ones that dislike the, these guys? I think so. Cool. Uh, so, are you here willingly, or...? She, uh, she shakes her head. They caught me, uh, spying on this fane. Told you she was innocent. Oh, this is why we tied her up to make sure. Because we need to make sure she's telling the truth, because, you know, lie, pe people lie too. The Mizrims were sworn enemies to the Bainers. Yeah, and I could call myself Prince Philip, but that's not true. <laughs> Look, I'm just in a... You've changed, man. <laughs> it's, it's been that kind of week at work where it's just... People have not been honest about their work output and now I'm suspicious of everybody. Oh dear. Fine, like... I'll just give them the stink eye and go, if we let you go, what are you going to do? If you let me go here, I'll just be captured again. Uh, fine. Look, we've got a group of strays following behind us. Where's our little dude in yellow? This would probably be an appropriate point for Sistilophon to come forward. And go, do you two know each other? They, uh, they each shake their head. Okay. Fine, do you want to tag along until we get out? If we help you escape, can we go shelter at your house for a little bit? She, uh, she nods. If, uh, if we can get out of here, um, my, uh, my matron mother should, uh, should allow you to stay. She may insist that to you, uh, Tell them all what's going on here, though. That's fine. So, we'll finish doing this. You can tag along with the strays, and then we're going to your mum's house, apparently, not your house, to uh, have a good old nap and wash. Potential reward, maybe. Mm. Bring them mm. home. Mm. Look, I'm just suspicious about whether well, they tell the truth. Now you're ransoming, ransoming them. It's not a ransom. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's just a reward. Request. Yeah. <laughs> we brought their child back home in safety. They could have hard, been on that altar over there. Hard-earned. I mean, we've got to keep them alive and get out of here. We can barely do that with ourselves. Or you like, you want the money. You could just kill her if you want. Go for it. 
Right, it is I... discussions are in common. She shows no sign of understanding. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> is she wearing any armor or anything, or have any weapons? No, oh, yeah, that's going. Cool. Fine, I'll untie her and go. You best be on your top behavior when you're getting a smack with this, and then gesture with my axe. And if she doesn't yeah. want any armor or weapons, she can help us else from the bodies. Quiet you. <laughs> she uh, she nods. Yeah. Don't pick up any of the weapons. We're gonna carry on. Stay at the back with Sesterfold. Sesterfold. That dude. His nameplate should be showing. <laughs> Look. Just because it's written down doesn't mean I can read it. That's true, it does begin with an axe. Mm. Uh, nothing good begins with an axe. But it's anyway. Still a fun. Good end to zero seven either. Mm. It does look rather creepy though, to be fair. Might have nightmares of it later. Mm. Do we want to snoop around the spider chamber? To heal up before we move on, I think. Some people got battered in that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, my max HP got pretty badly hit, so... Do we try a long rest with the same wolf on top? How does that last? I think we we'll find out what's in that circular... Is that just where the snake, the spider was going to appear? I'll, I'll sneak around it and... I assumed, like, yeah, I was I was kind of guessing if it Fire was to sacrifice her, something horrible would appear in that big circle. Well, why don't you fly moon? down and have a look? See what's down there, and then anything burns with a fireball. Yeah. So, I'm hey, so as you um, as you step into the uh, the oh, webbing dear. area here, um, you um, you start feeling uh, feeling a sense of dread. Um, and uh, you, you know you can tell that this is likely to be uh, you know a magical or otherwise. Uh, you know, a, uh, a supernatural effect. Uh, I'll communicate that with the rest of the party. Is it enough to, well, like inhibit me? This sense of dread. It's um, it's not enough to inhibit you. Uh, as you look inside, um, can you make me a perception check, please? <clears throat> oh, yeah. seventeen. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, with a uh, with a seventeen, um, you are uh, you are able to uh, to notice uh, that uh, hiding among the uh, the webs are uh, two large creatures. Uh, they look to be um, they look to be fiends in a vagueish in a vaguely drow shape. They don't look like the Yokolols, the Uzi people. Um, they look very much, you know, what uh, what, what would happen if, uh, you know, a, a drow truly became uh, a demon. Gerston, don't you have, like, things against fiends? I... And they're like, like a favoured enemy or something. It's Kirsten. Yeah, sort of. I think the radiant damage does double against them, or I get an extra D8 radiant against them, but... And your channel divinity also works against... Well, it works against fey and fiends, so uh, be careful on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's actually what it is. See, wisdom saving throw is turned for one minute or until it takes damage, so if it starts getting close, we can do that. <laughs> I really can't afford to fight right now. We've got all these things in the cells as well we need to deal with. They're behind a stone wall. Yeah, but you don't want to see what's in there. You're not curious. Can we go back True. upstairs for a rest, or at least scout it out, and then come back down? Rather than try to rest down here. Or do we all move out the way, and I try and scare them off for a minute? <sighs> Which won't really help for the eight hours we need for a long rest, but...
All right, cowardy coward. Hey, my my would you? Oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody seemed to be up for fighting. Right, let's go upstairs and find it somewhere. Yeah, let's go have a sleep. <laughs> you wanna fight at six HP? Do you? <laughs> would you? Well, yeah, I've, just I've lost. I've lost half my max HP, so. Yeah, that's true. You do really need to find somewhere for a long rest. Mm hmm. And I've only got one third level spot slot left. Is the upstairs the. like the, the ground floor? Uh, upstairs is is the ground floor, yeah. Could maybe could we go up and maybe barricade the front door so no one can get in? Or and just hope that no one's came in. Lucinda, can you turn us all into gas again and we'll go sleep at Miserum's I house? I still thing. have that ability. Yeah, I've kept that safe. Got her house for a nice safe rest, sort ourselves out, and just come back and smash whatever's left later. I like that idea. Yeah. I mean, we stopped the sacrifice. We've stolen some stuff from their secret rooms. As much as I would love to go check that bit in the top left, we probably do need to pop up. Hey, and they'll all starve and suffocate if we, because we've sealed them in. Oh, I've just, yeah, I've just had a kind of a thought. Those what those like round the corner where we see the like the, the the weird things that are guarding, but the things in the prison cells are probably other members of House Misery. Yeah, you never checked where the the cells are occupied. Uh, there's probably enough air in there for maybe like an hour or two. Uh, those ghasts are not going to be dying for lack of air. Those in the cells might do. Oh. Guys. <sighs> Guys. Do you know what we, we try a do? short rest down here. Yeah, I was gonna say we just do a short rest. I mean. If we fight, I'll go down. I have six hit points left. Well, look, I've got 35 points away on hand, so I'll give you 35 boops to finish it off. I mean... We could just knock down the wall that they didn't see us build, and then they're fine. That's true, they won't suffocate then. We've, we've killed the ones that... So, how we many people can you turn into gaseous form? I say, how many people can you turn into gaseous form? Because are we going to get too many people if we free prisoners there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight already. I don't know if it has a limit. Pop a description in the roll 20, then we'll find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to see, yeah. Uh, 10 max. Yeah, so we can rescue two more people. What's what the chance this is more than two people in there? What are we doing? We're about to suffocate somebody, so we need to go try and we rescue them. at least them. destroy the wall. Okay. I mean... We knock down the wall that they never saw us build, and then those people can breathe. Because they're breathing the same air as us. Oh. I mean, we could just knock on the cells and do a fighting retreat. Rather than yeah, fight that, to kill. Have to knock down the wall anyway. Yeah, so I mean, we have to do that. We're going to kill all the other prisoners. Mm. And seeing as you guys want to ransom them off. I mean... Knock a door on, we then go uh, have a long rest somewhere, quiet, and come Thank back with that again. I've just had a thought. Lucinda, can you still do that walk through stone walls thing? Uh, Path wall. Probably not at the level I'm at. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what I can do. If you've got a fifth level spell slot, so you, can, so you can cast the spell. You could also use the sixth level slot, but I, I, I appreciate that one has been spoken for. We could try and go into the cells through the back. Oh, 
No. Did I get lay on hands? Yes, 35 points worth. Okay. <laughs> I can make a small door in the wall that I've made. I've still got the ability to do that. But how long does the door last? Uh. Look at this. Popper, uh, okay, yeah. well, if you're using the stone shape, uh, then that does seem to be permanent. Do ghasts count as feats? Uh, ghasts count as undead. Okay. Just, oh. Does your channel Divinity work on undead? It does. does no, it works on A and oh. Fiends. His oh, Divine okay. Smite does more damage to fiends than undead. Right. Uh, but um, he's uh, he's uh, an ancient paladin, not a devotion paladin. Yeah. Yeah. I really don't want to start taking on another enemy at the moment. I, I nor, nor do I, really, to be honest. I am worthless in diamonds in here. I am. Very um, knock the wall down and we can come back. I mean, if we tell House Miserin they've got, like, prisoners from House Miserin here, they well, might launch an I mean, attack. Looking at this, I can put a hole in the wall so that the prisoners can breathe. Okay, do that then. But it won't be big enough for these huge things to get through. Okay, do that. That sounded an interesting prospect rather than just removing the entire wall. Yeah, so if you were to if you were to make a hole that a medium creature is to squeeze through, a large creature doesn't have a chance. Um, if you were to make it big enough that a medium creature could easily fit through, a large creature will be able to squeeze through. Squeezing is like a well-defined process. I'm not just using it as a word. Um, but, um, yeah, the, you, you could do one that the uh, the gas can't pass through, but you can squeeze through. Well, if we want to make sure they can breathe, I can do a very small hole three times. Definitely don't want these things getting out of here. I mean, if you want to, to do a hole that like a medium creature could get through, or a small creature could get through, I could go invisible, go around, find out exactly how many prisoners there are, and see if there was a way of breaking them out without alerting the ghast. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just double moot just cost 10 foot to get through that square rather than five that's not it's not a significant issue for how small the wall is it's well magpie is a small creature so yeah. um a, a creature that a medium creature squeezes through magpie just goes through mm. uh, we'll put the hole there that's fine okay so it's big enough for a medium creature to squeeze through but not for a large creature to fit through and Magpie can just go through it. And let's hope I don't make any noise. That's fine. You will have to make a stealth check because of the yeah. ghasts, but because, you know, reliable talent, uh, mm. their passive perception is not high enough to uh, to trouble you. Great. Right. Who's in the cells? I can see the half of somebody's token down here. Okay, I'll I'll show you inside the lot of them. So these cells are uh, these cells are locked. Mm. Uh, you'd probably yeah you, you'd be able to find a set of keys on uh, Inidul Bainra. Mm. Um, so it's not going to be a question of getting them unlocked, um, but uh, as you can see, there are seven seven drow. Okay, well. Yeah, if I can, if I can whip back, get the keys, and come back, can I unlock these sneakily? In fact, um, I don't even have to do it myself. I can come around here and use mage hand <laughs> with the keys to unlock all the doors. That's, that's a correct. Special mage hand. 
And That's then... correct. And that mage hand can go invisible. Um, yeah. yeah. An invisible mage. <laughs> Parking <laughs> tricksters can make an invisible mage hand. Yeah. Now, I mean, there would still be some floating. I mean, I know that the hand is invisible, but do the thing it's holding go invisible in the rules? Because if it doesn't explicitly state that, you are still getting a floating key that starts no unlocking things. Here. Yeah. That is true. Hang on. It's probably better if I do it then rather than the mage hand, because I think the invisibility says anything I've got on me. Is yeah, it, anything yeah, anything you're carrying. So yeah, I'll I'll unlock them. Yeah. So um if you're if you get to use reliable talent on sleight of hand, you'll be able to do those perfectly quietly. Mm -hmm. Um do you have a plan to um uh for what happens um you know when you've unlocked the uh, the doors because the invisibility may work for you and there's no indication it would work for any of the others i do run. have a plan well um hang on that's just, just run for the small doorway <laughs> so i know i'm going backwards and forwards here but i don't want to do anything that's going to alarm these things so i'll whip back through the hole going to use yeah. my staff to put tongs on myself again. Uh-huh. Perfect. So I can actually speak to these elvish people. Is tongues concentration? Uh, it's a staff thingy, so I don't think it counts as concentration, does it? Uh, three charges to cast tongues. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, if the uh, if, if it tells you uh, generally with these staffs, if it tells you to use your DC, then you're casting the spell and it's your concentration. And if the gotcha. staff has a fixed DC, then it's the staff casting yeah. it. Yeah. If, well, in any case, not, no concentration. It's not uh, concentration, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Which means I can go back to the ones I've unlocked. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of these look more important than any others, or do they all look the same? Um. A, a comparable importance, who is that? Pick one at random, and let me just make sure that's not concentration either. No, just one round. Uh, use message, so mm -hmm. point your finger towards a creature within range, and just say, I've unlocked all the doors. There's a, we've made a wall round the side that's got a um, small enough gap for you to get through it, but the gas can't follow. If you want to escape, run now. And I'll run back. And uh, now the ball's in their court. Okay. So, uh, so you've uh, you've unlocked the lower cage. Or did you unlock all of them? Oh, I thought I thought I'd unlocked all of them. That's right. Okay. So you've unlocked all of them, but did you have you spoken to all of them? No, I've only I've only spoken to one. He can pass it around. Okay. Well, he can pass it to exactly one other person because the others are in other cells. Oh yeah, but all the cells are unlocked, so we can only like between <laughs> the two. He can, but not without the guards soon. Oh, that's true. In any case, you have to repeat the message to each one. Yeah, I, I can't be bothered doing that. They've got a choice now. <laughs> I'm not their mom. They can help themselves at times. <laughs> okay. Well, um, in any case, we we um. You know, one of them will talk to the others, um, and uh, yeah, they will have a plan by the time you're getting through the hole. Um, so you um, you will uh, you will hear some developments shortly. Um, uh, shall I put us in initiative, and sort of you can decide whether you want to pro provide any assistance. Yes. Can I get? just on the other side of the door without setting any of them off. You can squeeze the, the other side of the door without setting any of them off, yeah? I'll wait here, so if they start running around, at least I can try and cover them. No worries. And is anyone else doing anything else, or are you all staying at the bottom right? No, I should have been oh, on there. Oh, I'll move up it. I'm going to say uh, Tristan through the ring. Um, one... Tell me once the last one's through, and I'll cast Wall of Fire once you're through, right behind the wall, in their, in their direction with the staff. Try and slow them down a bit. Mm. 
No worries. So, um, I'm just gonna give them yellow tokens, you know, at the other end, because they're kind of on your side-ish. And then we can get some initiatives rolled. Me to roll initiative as well. Uh, if you if you suspect you'll be like partaking in anything at all, uh, yes please. So I'm confused. I disappeared and came back, and then suddenly we're making holes in the wall for people to breathe. What yeah, happened? We, we, there's prisoners down there. We're gonna try and they're gonna try and escape now. Right. And hopefully then those gas things won't be able to get through the hole in the wall. So we're basically just gonna wait yeah. by the wall. And if any prisoners escape, we can bring them with us. If they there, don't, then we close the wall back up and go. There was a time know. problem with having a long rest mm. or any rest that mm. while we were asleep, this lot of them died. Um, just putting that out there. <laughs> well, I think there were maybe more prisoners from House Misery. So if we rescue them, we'll get a bigger right. reward. Oh, okay. So there were a more bigger army to help possible us potential yes, more sacrifices no. that could have been made. Allies. Mm. No. So yeah. by saving them, we're not getting potential sacrifices. So what happened with the spiders? We just them. them. We, yeah. we, 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 we are still running away. Mm. No, no, if, no. We, if we're doing this in order, then it would be Rayla. Oh, Lucinda, are you playing or are you having a oh, game? Oh, I'm sorry, I do apologise, I forgot about that. That's time. Yeah, because it started with one of them doing a runner. Um, I'll just hold here. <laughs> nope. Uh, who's got the higher decks, Sigfund or Lucinda? Um, 14. Diamond. Uh, Dex is 15. 15, so you're so going slightly thing. before. Okay. Uh, so Rail is holding, Samir. Um, yeah, she, she's going to hold for anything that's not what they are to come out. A bit confused why we're hoping that gas doesn't fit through because gas fits through any size hole. Okay. Do they? Oh, uh, so as in gas, G H uh, A S T, not oh, gas, G A S. Okay. I heard gas. Ah. <laughs> That's why I was a bit confused. No, okay. Yeah. I got um, very worried for a second. <laughs> well, that's why I was like, why are we making a hole big enough for these people to fit through? Gas will fit through anything. <laughs> these creatures are ghastly, not gaseous. Mm. Okay. No, I'm there now. No, yeah, then I'll hold my turn for anything that isn't. Okay, uh, Lucinda. Uh... I think I'm going to be holding an action to fire a lightning bolt. I'm going to move into a position of here and I'm aware, I assume I'm aware who I'm, who the enemies are and who the friends are. No worries. So if I see an enemy Within range, I'm shooting at it with a lightning bolt. No worries. Then it will be sickened. Yeah, I'm just saying I'll hold my action and if I see one of these gas get within 120 feet, I'll fire off an Eldritch Blast. Uh, then it's green then. Okay, then it's green. Well, one of the Jowls done a runner. Um, green uh, is going to uh, is going to come up. The other green should also come up, but will the other green have to dash? No. So well, the other green's going to come up, and uh, between them, um, this is probably not going to go well for the yellow. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. So the uh, the first one is getting a 
a 27 to hit with um with a bite just uh you know just running up to take a great big you know chunk of flesh at this uh escaper and that is going to be lethal so you can uh, all hear the uh, the sounds of gnawing flesh from around the corner um and that is very much going to be the greens okay then it'll be tristan <laughs> Uh, oh, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? <laughs> Five. Two. Would have been better off letting him suffocate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I will use my dash action. I'm getting it's involved. Oh, no, Yeah, I'm getting involved. No, get you. We can't come oh, no. back you up. We don't no. want that. Uh, the uh, the room you're in stinks, by the way. That's fine. I'm used to travelling with these guys. That apparently I'm not watching. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, I can't just let them die. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We have let got you die. Don't do it. Just I turn a blind eye, Mr. Paladin. It's okay. Uh, okay, so Tristan's dashing there. Who's next? Oh, if uh, that's Tristan's dash, it'll be red. Okay. Oh god. So uh, one of the red ones is going to come up to here. Can the other one get round? Yes. So it's to sort of squeeze through the opening there. But uh, can. Uh, these things really stink. These have a. Uh, these ones have a stench aura. Uh, which uh, is going to. I'm just going to show to you. Oh. And. Yeah. They're uh, they're gonna make their attacks. So uh, these things are too stupid to be capable of like flanking with each other. Um, each of them is going to make a bite and a claw attack. The uh, the first one is able to get well, and that one a twenty five and a nineteen. Does the twenty five hit Tristan? Yes, because I had to use my shell face. That's on. fine. And because it's a bite and two claw attacks, and it was the second attack that hit, that's going to be a claw attack. Uh, so that's going to be 15 slashing damage. And can you make a constitution saving throw, please? Um, against the paralyzed condition. Oh, I should do it. Very good. Uh, that is going to, that's going to save against that. As for the other one, so its bite attack was a 16, and its others were a 27 and a 21, so that should also be a successful claw attack. Yeah. So that's going to be 14 slashing damage, and can you make another con save, please? Yeah, let me just take the 14 off. That's all right. Pardon me. Oh, good. Uh, okay, yeah, so yeah, you're not paralysed. And, uh, yeah, that always for those that start the turns. I'm going to put the stanchures on all of them. But anyway, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's red. Okay, then it'll be me. Um, I'm just going to see how squishy these are, Tristan. And if they're not squishy at all, run away. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so I'm there. Um, I'm going to shoot at the nearest red to me. Still invisible, so advantage on this. That's correct. It's just as well. Although that's worse. Does a 15 hit? A 15 will hit. Cool. Too, too easy. For 34 damage. Okay, 34 damage all going for. Right, how much does that? Okay. That's not. As much. No. Uh, and then cunning action to dash and go back through the hole. <laughs> And that'll be me done. And then it'll be Yellow's turn. Uh, they're all staying in their cells after that. Oh, they're, they're not even coming <laughs> anymore. Come on, Tristan. No, well, <laughs> with five of them, it's unclear to them if they can get out. Your sleight of hand is just that good. And the one who knows that they can get out is not going out. With Red moving, do I get to release my lightning bolt at them? Can he see them? 
I think if you were to do a line from you, you'd get Tristan, wouldn't you, as well? Looks like I don't, actually. Uh, pull up the line, then. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's, um, the that's straight through Tristan. Oh, someone else was doing it. <laughs> well, someone else was doing it straight to a wall, and yeah, that's, that's yeah. also into a wall. Yeah, I was checking for Eldritch Blast as well. Yeah. Mains doesn't. So you're at 100 foot. To a, wall. to a wall. To a wall. It's, it's going to hit a wall. Ah. Right. And of course it helps. Yeah. Right, forget it. Uh, so if yellow's a staying put, then it will be blue's go. No worries. Okay, so... Yeah, so the uh, the blues are going to struggle to uh, to get position, um, but you know that one can come up to there, and then that one can just come up because why not? They've got nothing else to do. Uh, maybe take the dodge action or something. Uh, um, so anyway, as for the blue that uh, has made it in, uh, if anyone is able to get some attacks on them that goes through the with the X, they can do. Yeah, I'll, my Eldritch Blast will go off on this top board. Yeah, right, right through the hole. Roll that. No, it's... So I get a 23 to hit. Uh, 23 will hit. And for 13 force damage. For 13 force damage. And I'll repel him back as well, just in case Tristan it's one less opportunity attack on him. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, right, so... I mean, if you do that, it's into a wall. And Blue will still have the movement to then move back up. But anyway, and you've got two, two blasts. Is it... Uh, is it not... Is it just... Is it all... Oh, no. Uh, well, it's a cantrip. Yeah, it's a cantrip. So you get the full effects of the cantrip. Oh, no. Okay. I, I thought it would just be the one. Nah, nah, for um, for attacks, you're right, extra attack only applies on uh, the turn, but cantrips... Oh, I, um, yeah, but yeah, cantrips don't work that way, so uh, you do get the full three. Alright, cool, I'll just get them all three then. Mm -hmm. 26 and 14 for the... Uh, both of those will hit as well. Nineteen total. Okay, so another nineteen. So yeah, I was repelled back, but we'll still have the movement to um, to nope. to come forward. Uh, and then I pre-rolled those attacks for the Eldritch Blast. Uh, so those end up being a nineteen, a twenty-five, and a fourteen. Uh, the twenty-five hits, I believe. Is this on me? Uh, yes. Yeah. So it's going to be another 14 slashing damage and another con save, please. I am looking pretty hurt now. Hopefully you should be able to get yourself out of there. And that's right. That's right, you are not paralysed. Guys, this might have been a bad idea. I don't think you should have run down, though. Okay, and then that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the blues. Who's next? Okay, uh, well, it would be like back to the top for really some early Cinder Sig Fund, but like, do any of you guys want to do anything, or should we just hit straight and go then green, then Tristan? I think Tristan should get, just get out of there. Yeah, yeah. 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 if we go in not. turn order, green gets to go before Tristan. No worries, I mean, they're just gonna sort of get to there and dodge. Nah, but, just, uh, yeah. ready an action for uh, for any gas that I'll chief might try and chase Tristan and just try to get away. I mean, if I get through this, can I just... Can you guys just pull them through the doorway when they can't get there? They may be able to break it down. Well, you'll have a few rounds, won't you? I, th I think we should just get gone. Yeah. They're not going to hurt the prisoners. The prisoners can now breathe. Except for the one that's already dead. We can always come back later. But for now, we need to go. And we definitely need to rest up. Yeah. We could rest so if, up and if then. Karina just dodging, then it's Tristan's go. Yeah. If we really want to get these prisoners out, we need to rest up and then come back to this. If I disengaged and step straight back to there. Oh, okay. sorry, because you started your turn within the aura, can you make me a concept against the poison condition, please? 
Can you not Misty Step? Well, he still has to make the save at the start of his turn. Oh, yeah, yeah that's no, fine. He, he said disengage, but I thought mm -hmm. he would just miss his death. Actually, yeah, because then I can get 90 feet, can't I? Yeah. The ball. That'll be out of the area, mm. wouldn't it? And now the misty there. step to that one. Yeah, and then, yeah. That one. Yeah, the X counts as 10 feet of movement, even though it's only a five foot square. But yeah, otherwise you're free to move. Okay. So every session, action, 35, 40, 45, 50. There you go, there's uh, last of casting Misty Step, last spell slot gone, and dash action. Every session, Tristan, you, you say, if I get into trouble, I'll use Misty Step. And then when you <laughs> actually get into trouble, you forget. <laughs> No, well, uh, I've got to get disengage and save that last one just in case. Yeah, this was the just in case. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Lucinda, gas, run. <laughs> that takes one minute to turn into gas, doesn't it? Well, they ain't going to come through that gap, though. That's correct. So I think we can get away with a minute. Alright, that's it. We can. Do that no more until I rest up. Yeah, so, yeah, but no while again. you're casting that, technically combat can continue. Because that wall's destructible. Yes, it is. Oh. Uh, where do we want to go from? Well, that's what I'm saying. Can we just not pelt them while they hit the wall? Then it looks like it's not breaking. Because it only breaks a five foot segment each time. Yeah. Well, we've got, we got ten rounds of combat while um, Lucinda's doing a spell so if we're taking it from the start of Lucinda casting the spell if we've gone round again then it'll be Sigfund oh god are we, are we waiting the oh, 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 oh so, so just to be sure the, the last turn was, was Tristan does Lucinda go immediately after Tristan no no sorry because I've got I've got thrown now what, yeah. what's actually going on so after, after Tristan it would be mm -hmm. you know the reds Red me. Yeah, okay, like, yeah, because if, if it's the reds, you know, they, they've still seen where Tristan's gone. They can't get through the hole, but they can certainly batter down a section. They can certainly have a go battering down a section of wall. Uh, they have to dash to get there, so it's not going to be something that they can do right away. Uh, Samir smells something horrible coming through the wall. <laughs> I mean, would my. And that's the reds go? would not have been a held action to cast. Uh, the wind walk. Once. Uh, wind walk is a casting time of a minute. So you no, can only I, hold I things that have a. I appreciate it's a casting time of a minute, but we're now saying that I can't cast it until my go, which is more than a minute from when you can move your monsters. So what you're saying that you. What do you mean? I, I can move the monsters as soon as Tristan's finished his turn. That's right. Have you seen you start casting cast it on your previous before. turn? Because I was under the impression you were holding some kind of spell that was going to go off if they approach the wall, and a windwalk can't go off if they approach the wall. You can't hold action a windwalk because it holds. Uh, yeah, because a windwalk's not an action. Right. That's what I was asking. Yeah. So. Your, your monsters are approaching the wall, we can't do anything, and we haven't actually even started the one minute countdown. Yep. So do we need to keep running then? Yep. yep. Running sounds a very good idea, yes. So, back to the order then. So the reds have moved, and you, the reds have as everyone has their turns now, we'll just start dashing up to theirs. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So it's my turn, I'll shoot through, um, sorry, oh well, go, hide, back shoot through the um x at red yeah may as well get a hit off before i start running oh. Oh, no. 28 a 28 hit <laughs> for 34 damage on that one okay for 34 damage on that one absolutely yeah, go for the one i've already hurt um so then rest of my movement uh oh that's 10 foot uh 
15, 20, 25, 30. Um, and then it'll be, well, do the rest of the guests, because the yellow aren't doing anything, are they? Uh, not especially. None of them oh, are not black. the rest of the guests. Sorry. It's, um, it's blue now. And then we go no back worries. to the top. Okay, so blue can dash here. Uh, and then I guess the uh, the other ones can... Okay, that one can actually still move up and dodge, so might as well move up and dodge. Uh, yeah, and that, that's the uh, that's the blues. Uh, then back to top the railer. Uh, with, my rage would be down there since the last fight, right? That's correct. And we're just running. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to magic Mr. L's red for the wallsies. Got it. Two. Three. One more for second level. That's correct. Okay, so that's going to be 16. And remind me, is it lower red or blue? Pardon me. Uh, to blue. Okay, lower blue. That's fine. That so I'll get that all put through. Then it'll be some air. Okay, for what it's worth, uh, because of the uh, the gas, the gas's gases, uh, you have to make a constitution saving throw against the poison condition, please. And then you can have the rest of your turn. 26. You're 26, yeah, you're alright. I'm running. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Nose. That's my movement done there. Lucinda. You presumably can run and cast a spell at the same time, can't you? <laughs> uh, yes, she can't dash and cast the spell at the same time, yeah, but she, she can move. So, let's go. Move me? No, she, um, I think she's doing the wind walk thing. Yeah, we're, while we're, we're running there. away. We want to run away. <laughs> so it, it's also doing ten rounds of running walk. while they're casting. We've just got to stay within thirty feet of them. I, I'm kind of so, yeah. I'm kind of hoping at some point Jack says we've got far enough away that we don't have to be an initiative anymore. Unless he's just trying to like kill the time off to <laughs> roughly eleven so we can call the game. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. Uh, I just wanted to confirm that you were definitely running, running, and you weren't trying to do some guerrilla stuff. But if it, if, it, if it is confirmed that you're running, running, which is what happens when Lucinda announces she's casting the spell and is moving, then uh, I'd be happy to uh, to to stop it here. Well, well, not not the game, but as in say that you'd be able to, you know, get out of the floor here. Yeah, get enough of a lead that we can do the minutes win more. <laughs> yeah. I did check the, uh, the the uh the the hit points on the wall. It's like thirty hit points per inch of thickness, and these can be up to six inches thick. So uh, there's not going to be uh, there's not going to be too much danger of the. Good, uh... I was going to say for good measure, I could just cast wall of fire behind it, so they probably get bored to batter on it and back off for the heat anyway. <laughs> well, I, I, that, that's the thing. That, that's why I was letting it run until it was confirmed that you were absolutely, definitely leaving, and there's not someone who was going to try that. Yeah. Be the hero. Mm. We'll just run if we can run. Yeah. No. Yeah. Run. yeah. No, that's if, you're, if you're resolved to running and you resolve to wind walking, mm. um, then there's not going to be a lot you can do in a wind walk. There's not going to be a lot that uh, the Bane can do in the wind walk state. Um, although, you know, uh, there would still be some uh, some noticeable, uh, you know, wisps of uh, fog escaping. Uh, I didn't have anything on the ground floor that could potentially stop you. So, you uh, there's nothing that could prevent you from leaving. And then we need um, what's a face to guide us. Yeah. We we need somewhere to sleep. Mm. We're going to uh, make you go to the girl's house, aren't we? The one we'll just mm. rescue. That's the one. Sacrifice. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Bengals would be here, and um, a lot of, I mean, the Mizrim, like uh, the other, yeah, like a lot of the other noble houses, would have uh, would have an estate uh, based in here, in uh, Kalazol. Uh, did they really name a place called Killersall? Oh well. <laughs> anyway, uh, whatever. The fact of the matter is, um, you know, you um, you would be able to find the uh, the Mizrin estate um, with some uh, with some assistance from your travelling companion. And uh, once you're inside, obviously I don't have a map for this, but uh, you know, once you're inside the estate and are able to de-windwalk to yourself, yeah, there would be a, you know, a confrontation of guards, uh, but um, you, know, the, um, you would be able to uh, explain the situation and uh, for a time become guests of the, uh, the Mizrins. That's all right, we only need one night. Mm -hmm. Get washed, sharpen our weapons, good night's rest, and revenge. Attuned to my new weapon. Ooh. Yeah, I'll tell them. The even more we'll go back and try and get some more prisoners out. Yeah, we pretty, uh, probably let them know that oh, there's uh, yeah. all of them in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone could, could convince them to send some backup with us to go in with. So you um you would be told uh, that uh, you know you uh, you will be able to uh, to be given uh, some guest houses for in which you can rest, um, but um, before you're uh, able to take uh, a rest, uh, you will be uh, summoned to vi um, to visit the matron mother misery Mizrin. She sounds cheery. That's wrong. Absolutely. What else would we do? <laughs> Are we not gas anymore? <laughs> Are we going to be summoned to her as gas? <laughs> well, I presume that you'd de gassed yourself <laughs> when you were being confronted by guards. <laughs> I mean, confronted by guards, that's a really good reason to stay as a gas, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but these are friendly guards. Oh, these friendly guards, alright. Well, they are guards to whom you'll be able to explain yourself. And we have someone going, look, you brought your son back, a daughter, person. Yeah. You brought someone back here. Unless you don't get to like it. I don't know that there's more prisoners as well. I'm pretty sure this person's probably the one in charge. We just need a little bit of time to get ourselves sorted and we'll go back and get the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Can do. Okay. So, um, as I say, before you've rested, uh, but again, before you've attempted to take a long rest, um, you will be uh, ushered into uh, you know, a, a drow uh, study. Uh, you know, guards will be uh, guards will be flanking you, but uh, they will leave uh, as you go into the uh, the room. So um, you know, you can see it's kitted out in a lot of the um, the usual uh, drow decor. Uh, you know, a good amount of um, web imagery, not a lot of spider imagery. Um, instead, you uh, you can see it's some. A very different imagery. Uh, they um, they have engravings uh, not of, you know where where Rayla would associate spiders with being. They instead have eyes. Uh, a black eye with a, a white uh, no, so not with a white a uh, with like a red pupil. Um, that's very much like a, a, a vertical oval. 
and uh, as you are uh, ushered in, uh, you can see uh, uh, an, an aging uh, drow woman who would uh, gesture for you to take a seat. I guess we take a seat. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll perch on the back of the chair. Sit down nicely, not slouching, but nice straight back. Hands mm-hmm. nice in my lap. Not crossed, not doing the shutting up body language, but nice and open and friendly. Absolutely. Misery Mism has the tongue spell cast on her, so you will all be hearing this in your native language. And uh, as uh, as she uh, as she speaks, she says, uh, "House Mizrim would first like to thank you for returning one of our own. Bye." Uh, and as gratitude, we will let you stay here. A great honour for uh, such folk as yourselves. However, before uh, I let you have your rest, I must uh, ask you what uh, how Spain is up to in their fame. Summoning stuff. There's a whole bunch of spider stuff in there as well. Then we're going to sacrifice your family member. Yep. To what end? We don't know. We killed them before we found out. I mean, do we tell them about what they're doing with the Krakatoa and stuff as well? Yeah, I was wondering about that and the crown. I think we tell them everything because what we've got to lose. Mm hmm. So they're Allying. As, yeah, allying themselves with giants and assembling magical artifacts to what did they want to do when they got everything together? Apparently, they're trying to summon Lolf. Mm. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, as you. As you, uh, you know, explain, you know, what you've seen about the ritual and the Kuatoa and, uh, you know, the, uh, presumably you also, uh, describe, uh, you know, describe the, the, the summoning that they, uh, they have planned. She, uh, the, uh, the matron mother becomes, uh, more and more concerned. And when you are finished, uh, she shakes her head. The mistress of lies on the material plane. Hmm. That is not something I would countenance. However, if this is to occur in the surface, as you say, there is little we at House Miserin can do. Our powers remain here. Are you uh, intending to pursue this matter on the surface? There are holly bobs. Absolutely. We just need a good night's rest and we're going back in to try and save more people and stop all the nonsense they're up to. Is there... Is there Machen Mother... Machen, uh... Eclavia present? No, she wasn't, was she? Oh, you you know for a fact that she's not. Yeah. 
No, we think she's off with the frost giants. Because so that's what she had drawings of. We haven't killed any frost giants yet, have we, so? No. Uh, Matron uh, Misery nods and says, um, Very well, uh, if you wish to go back, do you have a means of doing so? Uh, and I uh, wish you all the best in your efforts. Thank you. I can't say even some of the... Uh, more devoted houses would necessarily approve of bringing the Spider Queen here. Well, we'll try and stop it and, uh... Yeah, give us a good night's sleep and I'm sure we'll put another spanner in the works tomorrow. I mean, if, like, if House Misery want to go and finish off at the Bangers, Head Honcho isn't home. We've killed most of the other people. They can literally just go and mop up and rescue their prisoners. Save us the, the effort. Come on, stupid cat. If you have been in their fame, do you have proof of their activities and intentions? We did bring stuff with us, didn't we? we did. Or did we just read it? Well, you definitely read it. Uh, whether you brought it uh, with you is entirely up to you. Hmm. I thought we brought it with us. Hmm. I wanted the torture implements. You wouldn't tell me what they were. I want to tell you, I'm not going to detail specifics like this here. But we do have evidence. If, uh, I... If I may have it, I can, uh... Disseminate it among the other houses, and we will see who truly is willing to stand with House Spainra. by me. Anybody else has any problems with it? No problems here. Nope. No. Get the magical photocopy, Gary. Spread it around. Yep. So, uh, if you, you know, hand her, you know, the documentation that you've recovered, uh, you know, she will have a, a quick scan of it, uh, just to, uh, just to see what, uh, you know, she can determine, uh, Giants involved too. Most heretical. Well, uh, I think with these, that should be enough to uh, get a lot of the other houses uh, on our side. Well, uh, I shall not keep you any longer. I leave you to your rest. Thank you for the hospitality. Hopefully we'll have more good news by the end of tomorrow. Very well. Enjoy your sleep. And uh, guards appear to escort you out of the room. And uh, yeah, you will be able to, to take a long rest within the Misery Estate. Uh, and this isn't going to be some nonsense thing where they try to kill you at night. This is going to be, uh, you get to take a long rest. I'm going to reset my max HP. That will indeed reset your max HP. Yay. Oh, we didn't ask for a reward. Maybe tomorrow when we get more stuff. After breakfast, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, can I confirm a course of action when you when you complete your long rest? I think as we're getting close to 11, it would be prudent to call the session here. Uh, but uh, I would just like to confirm what your plans are. 
keep your bucks. You want to go fine. back in that place? I kind of do. Try and find more evidence. What? We got. Find... Yeah. You don't see. Oh, we can do if you want to. I just don't think we really need to do anything else there. I want to go and have like three weeks holiday with a Kuwatoa so I can get me book and meet Yen. Oh. <laughs> I know. I don't want to trying to kill us. Mm. Would misery, we misery that. know if uh, we have like a time limit on when we need to uh, head over to the Frost Giants? Um, it would be unclear from her position. She's not aware of what developments have taken place there. I mean, can I use one of these other 50-foot ropes and tie up Tristan if he really wants to go back in there? <laughs> I mean, a 50-foot rope would be sufficient for the job, uh, but the exact resolving of actions depends on Tristan's willingness. Well, if we don't go back there, the other option is to try and get to where the frost giants are. Do we know how to get there? Uh, yes, you you do know the location uh, because uh, their you, you know uh, their glacier was uh, one of the locations uh, you were like assigned to clear out. You've just also confirmed that there's some jail shenanigans happening there. Yeah, well, I, I vote frost giant. But we left the orcs in the fort, and now we're leaving those yellows in the other. We the just orcs are keep... fine. We just keep leaving prisoners behind. This is their own people we've informed. I'm sure they'll yeah. get a bit post haste if they want to save them. Hmm. If they're important enough to save, House Misery will go in and save them. They know House Bainer is weakened at the minute by what we have managed to kill. And if they're not important enough to save, then why would we bother? You weren't getting paid, you took damage, it almost killed you. Do you really want to go back in there? <laughs> go kill some giants. Okay. Giant slaying! So. I presume. So, do you uh, do you tell the Mizims that your uh, intention is to return to the surface? Yes. But, yes. but if we leave, do we need, need, need do we do we come back in two weeks to get our stuff from the Krakatoa then? I what guess do so. I, I don't like. I don't want to give it to give the Drow two weeks to do whatever they want. Well, I don't want to give House Bader two weeks to do whatever they want with the Frost Giants. I think that's too long. I will ask um, Misery Misery if she can give us anything to aid us on our uh, quest. Is there a better way back to the Krakatoa than like through miles and miles of... Really she could give us something to approve us for the teleporter. Um, she said all the other houses wouldn't be happy with what Bane were doing either, so... Mm. We can get some sort of like temporary pass or something. We're doing a good thing here for them. Okay. So, um... So if you uh, if you say the next morning that you're leaving, you probably won't be able to get an audience with the matron mother again. Uh, but you will have someone whose job it is to uh, to make sure your needs are met. Uh, if you explain that you need passes for um, the city of Menzo Baranzan, they will be given. Um, you are also told uh, that a gift is awaiting you on your departure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, just before we get to that, is there anything else that you'd want um, for um, b before you'd leave the Miswin estate? So you've been given passes uh, for the city. Um, would they give you an escort? Nah, that not might be a bit. Uh, you are still strangers in a strange land. Uh, they, oh, they they can give you some clothes to blend in in the city. That would make yeah, that would make sense. Oh really? Why don't you ask if you can be adopted into this house? Because the other like robins don't like you. 
But that when that be kind of weird. Being like, hey, we can video adopt me, they hardly know me. <laughs> and they might not like me more if they know if that I'm a bit <laughs> originally a brain row. You guys are my family now. <laughs> it's nod and smile, guys. Nod and smile. <laughs> okay, so is there anything else you want? I can think of. Pun? Nothing. Uh, okay. No worries. I'm curious now on how it would actually go up asked them if they would adopt me. <laughs> Uh, I mean, so you'd know that there would be uh, there would be a process for um, you, you know for for fostering. Yes, the process is my cult marrying. <laughs> no, 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 no. As in, like for fostering, it doesn't have to be like marriage. It would be basically adoption. Uh, but with a clan, it would be fostering because like adoption is like this, you know, implies like it's a specific. Like parent, you assign to. Can I ask them to adopt me? Because <laughs> I have no family now. <laughs> My original family hates me. <laughs> you're you're houseless, drow. I'm houseless. Not to worry. So, um, if you if you broach the uh, the subject with your retainer, uh, then you know they were. Uh, they will tell you that um, this can certainly be uh, be put forward to the matron mother, um, but uh, nothing can be guaranteed at present. Um, I'll I'll just thank them for their consideration. No worries. So uh, all you want is passes for the city and clothes to not get stopped on the spot. I think so. Do you okay. we keep asking yeah. us something else? Is it like we should be asking something else? Yeah. Well, um, but can, the teleportation can he hurry up in Menza Baranzan, that also mm -hmm. will go back to the Kuatoa, won't it? We just didn't go that way because we didn't want to appear right in the middle of the centre of the city. Mm hmm. You, you can. Um, you can um, set, uh, set the runes to go back there, yes. So now we can just go wherever we fancy with. Teleportation service. So long as Menza Baranzan has, you know, so, so, sorry, so long as the runes exist and you know them, yes. Um, but yeah, that's fine. So uh, yeah, you, you'd absolutely be able to, to take the the, uh, the clothing you've been made. Um, so that this uh, is very much in the the Elven Drell style. Uh, and is also designed to cover up as many of your non-elven features as possible. So I guess Tristan's got a really big hood and probably a veil. Like a giant deep cloak, like a monk. Mm. <laughs> Something that like, yeah, but, like with a full hood goes over his head, so uh, people have difficulty seeing his face and he has difficulty seeing at all. So I'll just follow the feet of the person in front of me and hope it's the right yeah. one. Mm -hmm. I guess I just look like a floating carrier bag right down the street then. <laughs> well, not necessarily. I mean, it'd be the sort of thing that would like restrict your wings somewhat and make you look like, a, I guess, a child. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the passes are good for the city and for the uh, the teleportation room. And additionally, the gift you have been given. Um, is uh, is a stout chest uh, in which you can see that there are that there are twelve potions inside. 
Uh, well, six of which poisons. look like healing potions. Six of them uh, look to be icy in colour. And uh, yeah, that's what you've uh, that's what you've been given. I suppose I'll try and identify them. Did you say icy in colour? Okay. Yes, they um, it, it, like it's a very icy looking liquid. What are they? Okay, so um, with okay, yeah. So with that, you'd be able to identify the uh, the the healing potion looking things as potions of supreme healing, and you'd be able to identify the icy looking potions as potions of cold resistance. I'll take one of those each, and then. You guys, dig in. Uh, the potions of supreme healing are of the purple variety. I mean, how many does that work out as each? One each. Because there's six of you and six of them. What do you say supreme? Of the purple variety, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, and then yeah, you you wouldn't have any difficulties getting across the city with the clothes and the passage you've been given, and uh, with that you can easily get to sloop them on pulp. Uh, if that's your intended destination for the end of the session, is our stuff there yet? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Is, is, is our stuff there yet? I mean, it's certainly been a few days, uh, but not yeah. enough time for it to arrive. No. Yeah, and then the we're going to go off to try and find the Frost Giants then after them, aren't we? Yeah. Mm hmm. No worries. So, uh, shall, we, shall we end the session here? And, uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. With your return to, uh, Sloop the Mon Pulp. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Well, uh, thanks for coming. I hope you've had a good one. Pleasure as always. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. And, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Nick, for hosting this. And, of course, thank Anytime. you. Anytime. And, of course, thank you, the audience at home, for, uh, for watching. Um, the uh, the maps have been uh, by John Pintar, the uh, the tokens and the Menza Baranzan map from Wizards of the Coast, and the music has been from Serpent Sound Studio. Uh, this has been Fate of the Dice's Vault of the Drow. Uh, we hope you had a good one. <laughs>